So we know the condo market is struggling in Edmonton, but is it struggling as bad in downtown Edmonton? Keep watching to find out. Hi, I'm Jenny Finley, real estate associate realtor with Yeg Pro Realty. So after looking at the data for downtown Edmonton and Oliver, it's not a simple answer. Compared to the overall condo market in Edmonton, your chance of selling is lower in Edmonton and Oliver. However, when you compare downtown Edmonton and Oliver to the year over year data, it's doing remarkably better. So let's take a look at how it's improving and what is selling in downtown Edmonton and Oliver. But first, before we get started, go ahead and click that subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss out on my weekly videos and my monthly market updates specifically for downtown Edmonton. So to understand what's happening in downtown Edmonton and Oliver, we're going to be looking at year over year data for the month of October. So that will be October 2019 compared to October 2018. Okay, jumping right in. In downtown Edmonton, 50% more condos sold compared to last year. But why? People must have dumped their prices. Nope, that's not it. When looking at median sold prices, there was actually a 31% increase. What's also interesting is that condos are selling for 99% of their list price. The median sold price for October 2019 was $277,000 compared to last year's median sold price, which was $212,115. So even though your chance of selling in downtown Edmonton was only 10%, which is a pretty strong buyer's market with 148 condos for sale to choose from as of October 31st, 2019. The light at the end of the tunnel is that more condos are selling for a higher price. In Oliver, the story is quite similar. 32% more condos sold compared to this time last year. And not because of drop in price. Though condos in Oliver were only selling for 96% of list price, the median sold price increased by 25% from $202,500 to $253,750. Your chance of selling or the absorption rate in Oliver is only 8%, a very strong buyer's market. That's largely because the market is completely saturated with condos for sale. As of October 31st, 2019, there were 313 choices in Oliver. But just like in downtown, more selling compared to last year at a higher price. So a word of caution. Even though more condos are selling and the median list price is improving, it does come at a little bit of a cost. The cost is the carrying cost. The average days on market in downtown went from 40 in October 2018 to 101 in October 2019. And then all over they went from 50 in October 2018 to 80 in 2019. So if you have any questions or like additional market information about the downtown area or even a different neighborhood, do not hesitate to reach out to me. You can find all my contact information in the description below. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Take care and thanks for watching. Bye.